in our grasp. <laughs> They go no further. Put them in the ground. My background in film music actually uh, helps me have a more creative approach for the video games. In film music, uh, the composer needs to learn how to deal with various emotions and convey them musically to match the on-screen drama. That's helped given me a good dramatic sensibility that I can then incorporate into the video games. One of the differences in video games, as you mentioned, is that if the uh, music is too filmic, it can start sounding a little bit cliche. And to me, this can be avoided by making every game score unique. I, I enjoy working with the orchestra, but at the same time, I like to incorporate hybrid elements like electronics, synthesizers, exotic instruments, world percussion, guitars. All these uh, mixtures of instruments to me is what helps make a score unique and avoid sounding cliche. Basically I take my film scoring background, which is a skill in working with the orchestra and different dramatic sensibilities, then I combine that with a more hybrid approach that's tailored to video games. That's a good question. Uh, my basic process when I approach composing is first to immerse myself in the project. In the case of video games, that usually involves talking with the developers, reading the backstory of the game, looking at concept art. I basically try to understand the creative vision as much as I can, and then I start to think about it in terms of music. So uh, often for video games like with Dawn Gate, we wanted to have an epic uh, feel for the main theme and also convey a bit of mystery and a bit of action all in the same main theme so the players could get a overall feel of the game by listening to the main theme track. The ways that in which I tried to convey that uh, emotionally were first with instrument choice. For the uh, introduction of the main theme it was very ethereal, it used a uh, ambient harp, some vocals, some ambience then later for the more epic uh, sections, it uses full orchestra, French horns playing the main theme, big violins and, str and uh, string section. So to convey the emotion, I, first I choose the appropriate instruments that can convey the emotion and also harmony choice. Um, the uh, Dawn Gate theme actually uses some Eastern harmonies that are influenced from Eastern music and this gives it a bit more of an exotic feel. So to me the keys for conveying emotion in music are first defining what the emotions are and then figuring out how you can convey it musically. And usually I'll, I'll think about instrument choice, melody and harmony for that. Yeah, I certainly hope that uh, the, the music in Don Gate can give it an edge above the competition. I think one of the things that can help this is how uh, unique the music was in fitting the vision of Don Gate. As you mentioned, a lot of the uh, scores can tend to sound cliche. To me, this is because they rely too much on, on standard orchestra instruments. Um, with Don Gate, I really wanted to avoid that by using the orchestra, but also blending it with uh, Eastern instruments like exotic winds, Tibet metals and percussion, different uh, ambient vocals, and also some uh, modern synthesizers and electronics to represent the magic and uh, kind of progressive feel of the game. So yeah, I think that the, uh, the music in Dawn Gate can set it apart from the genre, and that's primarily because of the, the hybrid nature of the score and also the the music approach I used of blending the Eastern styles with the Western styles. Planetside 2 was an interesting project because the game had three different factions and each faction had its own music approach. Uh, the Terran Republic faction used uh, orchestra and choir, the new conglomerate faction used the guitars you mentioned, also blended with modern percussion. 
and the uh, Vanu faction used modern synthesizers and also some exotic world instruments. To me, a uh, key in cohesion for this score was blending the melodies of the theme and also some melody motifs from the original Planet Side game into the music of the three different factions. Uh, the faction uh, instruments were separate. The developers specifically wanted each faction to use its own instrument group. So the way to attain cohesion was by weaving motifs from the main theme and also the original Planet Side game into the music of each faction. Another interesting way we did this was with the credits music for the game. In the main theme, each faction plays their theme using their own instrument group, but in the credits music, um, all the factions use a hybrid approach and kind of mix and match instruments from each uh, faction. So this kind of gives a unifying conclusion to the music and the credits music.